Under the SU-5 transformations, the quarks and leptons are supposed to transform into each other, or, the quarks and leptons are supposed to furnish representations of SU-5. What are the dimensions of some representations of SU-5? Recall that the dimension of the representation is simply the number of entities belonging to that representation. The defining representation is five-dimensional. We construct larger representations by gluing representations together. Let us, then, glue two defining representations. We imagine gluing a circle and a square together. The circle and the square are to be colored with one of five possible colors. Since we have five color choices for the circle and five choices for the square, we have 5 by 5 equals 25 combinations or entities. These entities are to be divided into the so-called even and odd combinations. Let us look at the odd combinations. In order for the combination not to vanish, we must use different colors for the circle and the square. There are 5 choices of color for the circle. For each of these choices, we have 4 choices of color for the square. It appears that we have 5 by 4 equals 20 combinations, but we must divide by 2 to avoid counting twice. So altogether we have 20 over 2 equals 10 odd combinations. We have a 10-dimensional representation. The quarks and leptons would fit exactly into the 5-dimensional and the 10-dimensional representations of SU5. 